Next and last video of the night, guys, we're going to end it on a caddy video. A two for one tonight. Because it's been a while since we watched some caddy videos. So this one, this one's one of the uh, ones that gets requested a lot. So we're going to do this one as well. The Nightmare World of DreamWorks games. I've seen a lot of people say this one's a favorite to watch. So, are you guys ready for another chaos-induced caddy slowly going insane again video? Are you? Are you? Let's do this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm starting to go stir Hi, crazy. Compost. The world still bricks. Is Caddy ever sane? <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of. <laughs> He's I'm kind. <laughs> probably not. But I'm kind of looking forward to also when I get caught up to his newer stuff that everybody wants me to watch. I'm kind of excited to watch his older stuff to see if to see like the gradual or quick pace of how insane his videos have been. I'm getting desperate. <laughs> I need something to do. Hey guys, and welcome back oh my to god, no. Make sure you do no. a before you start and play the game at a level. I don't need a what I'm ready. I'm ready. Give yourself plenty oh of room my to god. Move because move is my middle name. Copy this is too much, Caddy. This is too much. Caddy, no. I'm fit. How old am I? God, this is getting personal, isn't it? Well, if you must know, if you couldn't tell by my getter, I am actually 25 years old. <laughs> okay. It's a boy! Okay. I know. This isn't why you're here. You saw the title of this video and then jumped on to see Will Smithfish and the funny green man opening the door. Some... And that's great if that's all you're here to see, thanks for stopping by, but what other jokes can I make about the cultural impact of DreamWorks animated movies? What initially began as the edgy anti-Disney and Pixar studio made solely to stick its finger up to the iceberg that Walt is living in, DreamWorks Animation have been responsible for some genuinely excellent 2D and 3D films when all they cared about was being better than Michael Rat. And then... Shrek happened. I don't think anybody <laughs> predicted how massive Shrek would become, even DreamWorks themselves. But as soon as that happened, the company eventually lived long enough to become the villain. And if you're asking me, they ended up worse than the company they were already making fun of. Countless celebrity <laughs> voice actors to bump up ticket sales, chart-topping pop songs for the soundtrack, pop culture references so dated that they brought your granny back to life and murdered her again. And of course, Damn. the inevitable, the inescapable video game tie-ins. When Shrek 1 came out, I was six and... years old. So at the height of DreamWorks popularity, Honestly, they don't really, at least I don't think so, they don't do it as much these days, but it seemed like every movie, every TV show, well, less TV shows, but more the popular ones and sci-fi-ish ones, and they, a lot of them, they always, almost always had some type of game tie-in. Like, if it could be, if they think they could make it into a game, they would do it. If the series or the movie, whatever, had enough backing or was popular enough, it usually had a quick cash grab of a video game. I don't know if they do it as much these days, but they used to pump that shit out real quick back in. It was everywhere. Everywhere. It was the prime target demographic for all the video games that started flooding in, all based on our favorite, lovable, timeless children's films. I played <laughs> so many of these games back then. They so also usually only had like a year today. or two to like but make the, the games. Thing is that I don't remember liking any of them. I mean, give Disney their dues, they at least have plenty of great titles across all consoles that you can imagine, especially Mickey Mouse Capade and. 
Um, game adaptation. Uh, adaptation. Oh, DreamWorks animation the games, they were absolutely the yeah. everywhere in the early to mid 2000s. You couldn't escape them. They were like a fart in a car wash. But barely any of them were any good. Barely any of them have given me fond memories. And today, we're going to find out why that is, aside from the obvious reasons. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to get this over with because I haven't been able to stop thinking about that face for three weeks. So let's start off with Shark Tale for the Xbox. Uh. Behind every little fish is a great white lie. What? You mean like this game being a 7 out of 10? The disc boots up and uh, we get to see uh, a pus spot with legs pulling on a chain and looking at it makes me feel sore and itchy. I've got a spot on oh my, my bottom. The first screen has this, this, this and this on it. So Caddy, we're you need to get that checked but, out. I mean, at least the main menu screen looks pretty cool. It looks all underwatery and like a big... I also really like the transition screens between all the different levels. This looks we really play cool. The too, I just wish I didn't get to see this shark's I don't know if you're threatening me or... There is such or... a thing as too much gum. Um, and that is it. The first mission of the game is essentially a glorified quick time event. You see well, an need, arrow and move well, towards it. Some Nothing type more of to it. Substance and it really loves to, get to reuse it. exactly the same lines. So. so we dodged the shark for a while, unable to decide which fish I'm supposed to be scared of, and then we did it. I guess that was the end of that. Turns out we were only dreaming though, big shock. And so we're treated to a cutscene with plenty of full screen shots of the fish faces, which is closer than anyone should ever be. So Will Smith fish over here, who's not voiced by Will Smith in the game, is late on his rent again. So unfortunately we're now being repossessed, which can only mean one thing, another mini game. You could use your dash to circle them five furnaces before they smash on the ground. Oh. <laughs> I hope he's not a recurring character. Luckily, it is another quick time event, but it isn't exactly thrilling. You spin in circles around your belongings thrown out of oh the window God. to catch them the while listening Marvel to Ziggy Marley. Games. Every little thing, it's gotta be a oh my God! One of one of the first times I ever saw uh, someone covering the video games based on movies was it was one of Angry Joe's early angry joe show and he used to do a lot of the um the video games based on the movies because he they pissed him off so much because they were all so uh, they they pumped him out way too quick before they were ready and they were all repetitive and they were all just bad but it was also funny I have to admit. Alright when you're being evicted. I'm not sure what's more sad though, the fact that we are now technically homeless, or that somebody opened a shop that's very nearly Wang's delicious. Oh, finally, <laughs> three levels in mm. and we can finally explore the ocean, which the, is exactly the what the delicious of, the of Wang told me I could do. Let's go, fishy wishy! Okay, we can't. <laughs> this is the first game I'm looking at. Um, I, I can't move. What's going on? What, what are you doing? Ah! This game controls like urinary <sighs> incontinence. It's just constantly freaking out and completely unable to hold itself. This is easily the most spastic movement I've ever seen in a game. And that's when you aren't getting stuck in every crevice you can find. Moving is uncontrollable and trying to attack enemies with specific weak points is a pipe dream. It either doesn't register the attack or you get snagged on some other random speck of algae in the sea to stop you from moving. What are the enemies in this game? Well, whatever the game decides is an enemy. Seriously, the enemies are barely distinguishable from the other innocent civilian fish, and when they are a little bit more obvious, they appear from off camera all the time, ready to make Will Smith Fish's face look worse than it already is. And don't get me started on how great the sound design is. I can't put it into words. It's just... Oh, look, this guy was a recurring character after all. Oh, joy. You'd find this a lot easier if you used your dash. Well, I'd find you a lot easier on my ears if I kicked your ass. So here I am exploring the ocean streets as best as I can well, at this I don't stage. think Caddy However, really there likes are not only multiple path diversions to flip the that X voice. axis, but there are also invisible I'm just getting walls that impression. everywhere, making it impossible to get a mental map of this giant level in your head, even with a map feature, which even has bends in it. Bends in a 2D game. I have no idea which direction I'm supposed to be moving on this thing. Has anyone got the salt and vinegar? I want to put this fish out of its misery. Also, oh, to get damn. your health back, you go inside houses and then come out again. Just feed it some hard, salt and vinegar, which means that somebody in that house 
else is going down on this. And what is all of this for? A mission where I've got to find three copies of the same identical fish that then magically transform into three completely different fish and then have to clean up graffiti around the walls that should already be washed off since we're submerged in the water. Next level time, and we've got a cutscene here explaining that there have been shark sightings near the city. And since Will Smith fish is the closest one to talk to, he gets asked on TV how he feels about this. Which you logically leads to the Dance Dance Revolution <laughs> minigame featuring this face laughing at you. <laughs> I mean, this is just sad, isn't it? Was it kids' game law back in the day for every game to have at least one terrible and delayed rhythm game? At least he's happy with the mess he's made. Pretty After much, this honestly. is another game basically exactly the same as the intro missions, but you're going away from the screen instead of towards it, and this is followed by the like worst never, stealth mission I have nine ever times played. Out of ten, the dance modes never made any sense why they were there, as you want, but they were as there. As long as you hide immediately afterwards, wait for about two seconds, and then speed off again right into the front of everyone's vision. The entire level lasts for just over 30 seconds. I'm not kidding. Shark Tale is a classic example of throwing everything at the wall and nothing sticking. It's a kid's game, so you've got to give them the variety or they'll get bored too quickly, but I don't care about that. I'd rather have one gameplay style done right, thanks. And all of these issues wouldn't be so bad, uh, but this game is so damn ugly. <sighs> Oh, 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 ugly, Jesus. Ugly, ugly, Even the health bar face picture is ugly. How do you even do that? At least we're all <laughs> underwater right now because that means you can't see the tears in my eyes. Well, that was horrible. So do you want to know how to ruin somebody's day in two steps? It's easy. Step one, give them Shrek Treasure Hunt oh. on PS1. YouTube? Step two, Are you okay? remind them about Blue Waffle. Right off the bat, I'm not exactly a fan of Fiona's face right here. I don't know she what's up like with YouTube tonight, but sometimes it's been acting weird with the videos. Oh, hey, Bit of no, stutter. no, no, get out of there, Tomb Raider. Shrek's got some treasure to find. Now, what do we want <laughs> to pick? Do we want to select, seleccionar, selectioner, or Valen? Okay, so as it turns out, the person I eBayed this game from didn't look after the disc very well. I don't know why. But because of that, all the cutscenes are a little bit... <laughs> terrible. It's okay, though, because we can still get to the menus, and judging by this music... It sounds like we're off to Shrek's funeral. Maybe the intro cutscene won't be as balked as Damn. the other ones, though. I feel optimistic, so what's the story here? Princess Fiona arrived. Uh, oh! Uh. Oh! She did? And you know what? The funeral procession song at the start menu was fitting, because this game is dead on arrival. <laughs> My lord, this frame rate. Is this a video game or a book? I'm stunned that this looks what? and runs as poor as it does for a PS1 game released in 2002. But that doesn't matter, because I've got 10 blocks of cheese to find. This then unlocks a room for me to go into in order to play a mini game. And the name of this mini game is Purgatory, because it never <laughs> actually loaded. And this drowning bug in the corner was left to slowly die in its own filth forever. Right it's time to give this disc a clean. No, right, for Caddy. Let's try again. Ten cheeses Cat. into the mini game room and. Dig it. Oh, nope. Still nothing. Okay, time to give the disc another clean. Voila, we're in. And aren't I glad ah. I finally got it working? No because this game is my armpit. Shrek for the PS1 is a weird platforming party game hybrid, where in the platforming moments you can run and jump. No, that's it. Enemy coming your way? Tough luck, sunshine. You can't attack back. But then again, they can't really hurt you either. They just kind of knock you to the floor. Ah! So what's the point of any of these sections? I really don't know. You collect items to unlock more mini games, but since the item collecting part is a smelly pit of nothing where you can't do anything and take so long to collect anything, it might as well just be a level select. And I'd rather it be a level select because this part of the game is as appealing as soap scum. <laughs> Uh, That's some good scum. Even if you uh, took this part Kenny. of the game away, though, it ultimately no. doesn't matter. The mini games you unlock are at best unimaginative and at worst totally wretched. From copying simple button presses to moving your cursor over to a ripple in the water to catch fish and reel them in. Very slowly. Nine times. Oh great, the fish got away for no reason at all. I suppose that means I should reel the line in at the same speed as I would do if I had the fish on the line because the fish might change its mind and go back to the hook. This is one of the worst <laughs> games I've ever played. The and booty I'm not scratch. even exaggerating. Just to give you an idea how unenjoyable this whole package is, you could spend up to 15 minutes wandering aimlessly around this jittery wasteland with no obstacles to avoid, looking for random items, only to unlock a terrible mini game that lasts all of 20 seconds, and then you're back at the slideshow again. But at least there's a button you can hold to walk in case the whole thing wasn't moving slowly enough for you! Or you could do exactly the same thing and then be treated to a mini game that lasts yet another 15 minutes. Not because it's deep or fun, but because it just doesn't get to the point. Oh look, Shrek has something to tell me. What's that? 
Oh, great. I... This frame rate is making me ill. I can't be the only one getting eye ache here, can I? Why did they release this in the state that it's in? And why do the lily pads in the water look like floating Because they kidneys? didn't care. They just wanted their money. Okay, I'm just about done now. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go outside. Well... As scary as everything is out there right now, at least I know I'm 100% safe indoors. No, oh, God! Don't be fooled. <laughs> so keep all of your personal information secure and stop bricks from of taking course. over your house with Express of VPN, course. the sponsors of today's Here video. Here we go. But what does VPN stand for? Very prominent nips. No, oh my God. Stop looking at them. As you no doubt already know, the world is being indoors more than Kitty. usual due to the world turning into bricks outside, which means that online shopping, YouTube viewing, Netflix binging, and online gaming is more active than ever before, unfortunately leaving you more exposed to DDoS attacks and hackers. I mean, at least you're safe from this man in the cafe because all the restaurants are shut. ExpressVPN <laughs> is a service that encrypts your online data and that hides your IP address to create a hefty barrier between you and the criminals and only takes a single button tap on any device you can think of to activate it and keep Keep you truly anonymous and safe. And there's a reason it's called Express VPN. Because I must express how fast this VPN is. There's a reason it's the of number course. one rated VPN of by course. CNET, The Verge, Tech Who Radar, and many others. It, it doesn't be compromise internet speed, sometimes even improving it depending on what country you tell it to connect you to, and even lets you unblock region locked content for streaming services and websites unavailable in your country. I used this all the time when I was traveling and going on different public Wi Fi's, and even today I still use it while we're all stuck indoors. So go to the description below to the link expressvpn.com forward slash caddy and find out how to get three months of this service for free. <laughs> Wait a sec, what's, what's uh -oh. that noise? Oh wow, look at that bee uh -oh. over there! <gasps> Wait a second, that isn't a bee. It's a hand passing me B movie on the <laughs> Ah yes, from one meme to another. What better way to rinse my brain out than with jumping two console generations from PS1 to Xbox 360. Contains no material likely to offend or harm. Thanks for the warning, B movie. I never would have figured. So B-Movie the video game was developed by the developers Sounds of ominous, Crash Team honestly. Racing Nitro Fueled, b -Nox, and I'm convinced that they were picked for the sake of a pun and nothing else. Oh, and don't worry, <laughs> that is not the only B pun they have. I've got some too. I hadn't heard about the video. Of course you do, Kenny. Of course. It's both challenging and entertaining. Well, you know what, lady? You're a lying cow. Because this is without a doubt one of the easiest games I think I've ever played. You get an achievement for getting into a car. No, not driving the car, getting inside the car. And you even get an achievement for pressing the left trigger. I wish I was God. making that up. You can hijack some, any car in the whole game, I know game, some actually. games do that now as kind of like a joke or whatever, but... There were actually a lot of games where you would you would get achievements or trophies or whatever for doing the simplest things like like so simple it was bas you basically had to do it to progress in the game but it would be something mu mundane or or not exciting like you didn't actually achieve anything, but you still got an achievement for it. It it's wild. But there are some of them uh, today that do it as a joke that'll give you like a bunch of achievements, just just for a laugh. This is more or less a kid-friendly version the Deadpool of game. BTA. I gotta play the Deadpool game. Even better, there's no consequences. I have it, but either. I have not you played can even it. Steal cars that are already being driven, and the bee that you take it from just drops whatever he's doing and becomes your chaperone. Yeah, give me the wheel, lady. I feel like drinking the bodily nectar from my enemy. You know what this game reminds me of sometimes? Banjo Kazooie. Uh well, I mean, I'm assuming it's a collectathon at least, because to be honest, I didn't really play the game. It was way more fun to break it into pieces. That is, of course, <laughs> when the game isn't pestering me every 30 odd seconds, yelling at me to go to an objective marker. I'm still waiting for you already. Like, come on, you give me this huge world to explore and won't shut up until I comply? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be a naughty man and disobey. <laughs> You really should get a job. Well, you should really There's walk around There's gonna be a lot of puns no, in this video, it. aren't there? No, don't invite your friends. Get your More than usual, I mean. granny lovers off of my porch. I want to crash my car. Who's the unlucky insect in the way today, then? Oh, yeah, it's definitely you. Get ready to feel my sting a bit. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. Just gonna drive a little bit further, <laughs> push you into the corner, and... Yeah... I think I'll leave you there. You know what? All the residents wow. of this hive are totally screwed up now that I think about it. I mean, what in the blazes is going on over here? Hello? Are you melting? Is anybody gonna help him? Oh! <laughs> no worries, everyone. He buzzed off. Hey! 
Okay, so I hijacked this. It's about what it looks like when uh Yomi plays a game. Like if there's a glitch to happen, it'll happen with Yomi there. Always. Car, force him to crazy taxi me over to my objective, and that was a grave error because now he's following me to the ends of the earth and is stuck in the lift with me to continue the story. I'm terrified. He looks like he's about to unhinge his jaw and swallow me. After this, I decided to actually try playing the game, and once I ignored my surroundings and went from point to point, that's when I noticed that this is a job simulator, and it is horrifically dull. I get it, they want me to fit in with the hive and do my job like a good little subservient worker bee, but I'm one step ahead of you, game. I don't want to be like every other bee, so I'm going to go back to my boring <laughs> house to watch boring TV and look at boring pictures of myself duplicated three times on the same boring table. Oh look, it's another game where I have to move Why away from the same as pictures? arrows appear on the screen. Is that feeling deja vu? Or have I eaten too many olives again? At least after this, you get to go outside and yeah, explore that, the park. That airborne bandit gun, took his name all seriously. The flowers, spraying it all over the dying flowers and fighting off dragonflies. There's just one problem with this, though. The game turns into Elvis Presley before he died, unable to move properly. A PS1 <laughs> game of Shrek I could at least understand the choppy frame rate for, I suppose. But this? Are you telling me the Xbox 360 is struggling to run this frog and children that have been dipped in wax? This performance <laughs> makes this part of the game unplayable. Not the demonic the wax has children. A total mind of its own. I'm going to move on to the next game, I think. Aww. Yes, I know. You want to see more bees. I mean, who doesn't love a bee? But... B movie, the video game is starting to make me cry, like my uncle when they caught him. Moving on to Shrek again, but uh, this time on the GameCube, wait. here is Shrek Super Slam. Oh no, Shrek, please don't slam me in my soup. The game begins with Donkey trying desperately to get his dragon donkey hybrid offspring to sleep, which immediately makes me remember that they somehow did it, so I take the game out and throw it in the bin. After that, we see Shrek reading some bedtime stories to try getting the kids to sleep, and then cut to a story of Puss in dragons. Boots going to the bar and asking for some milk. You then discover that this is, in the simplest of terms, 3D Smash brothers but instead of cloud bayonetta mario a solid snake it's humpty dumpty you spend all of the matches mixing light and strong attacks together grabbing and throwing opponents picking up weapons and guarding into dodge rolls and for a you little have difference to smash bros you have to land successful hits to build up a smash meter which when full what? gives you a limited what time to activate a unique smash attack for each character for each person you hit you get a point and if you get hit by someone else's smash attack you lose a point yes believe it or not this is actually a mechanic that ps all stars tried to do but if you ask me it did it worse move aside kratos gingerbread man has the better game are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy! Instead of collecting <laughs> smash attack orbs from beat up players and then losing your own orbs if you get beat up yourself, meaning that you could go back and forth for hours before anybody gets a single point, this game just lets you focus on landing hits and avoiding hits in a fast paced race to see how many times you can build up your smash meter and get a point by hitting the opponent. It's very simple, to the point, easy to pick up, the chaos that unfolds whenever you smash other players can be extremely enjoyable, there's tons of different challenges to complete to unlock new characters for the multiplayer, including Humpty Dumpty with the greatest idle animation of all time. Oh, and since there's no singular <laughs> plot to go through with one narrative, the story mode has some genuinely entertaining Sounds scenarios like for demonic. all the fight, just because they make them up as they go along. The only problem I have with the story mode is that all the computer players went to McDonald's and got the lobotomy combo meal. Oh. I played this game for hours when I was 11 on the PS2, and I can totally understand why. It's a decent game. But yeah, the story mode? Unless you want to play something so easy that it makes you feel like a fetus, I wouldn't bother. Speaking of fetuses, over the hedge on the Xbox because that's where I throw the fetuses. The game starts with the lowest quality JPEG logo I've ever seen, followed by the game saving my save game. After this, you know what? I don't know. You get no explanation on what's going on. It's been years since I've seen this movie, so if I had to guess, this is the ending of the movie that we're starting on. But Christ on a bike, how do you think that idea came up? Okay, so how do we start this game? With the end. Yeah, the game just throws you uh, into the middle of a story wait. and doesn't contextualize anything. You're breaking into a house for some reason, smashing up the garden for some reason, and then stealing food for some reason. This goes completely wrong, and then the game's second story begins with you having to go and steal more food for some reason. Either this game has no plot or Kojima wrote it. We've got to stop it oh, before every damn. animal on earth is capped. Too late. I already capped my dog <gasps> last night. This was another game puppy. I remember playing for hours as a kid, and after revisiting this classic from my childhood. I don't get why. Not because it's a bad game or anything, but because it's 
so boring. What you have here is a basic beat-em-up with puzzles, if your idea of a puzzle is doing a big fart on a rat. You get given a dump truck load of levels here. Some of them are about 10 minutes, some of them are 90 seconds, and there are plenty of one-off mini-game levels just like in Shark Tale. But the big difference here is the main game connecting these moments together. This isn't an underwater fit simulator. This is a 3D beat-em-up with extremely light platforming. You run painfully slowly, you jump, you hit things with one button, you have a special attack button that you need to build up, you can find armor to use and get extra weapons that last not very long, and you have no control over the camera, meaning that all the stages feel limited and extremely cramped to the point of making you go <laughs> But like, it's not awful, it works, it looks fine, it's just so by the numbers it's upsetting, and there's absolutely no flourishes anywhere. Uh... Was what? there supposed to be sound there? There's no special what? transitions between the levels, there's no fancy animations on the text, and even during the game, none of the weapons feel like they have any oomph to them at all. Look, I'm just saying that if I'm playing as a skunk with a hammer, I want to feel it. I did it! I did it! Can you please take a step back? I can smell you from here. Today's hall puts us over the edge. Damn. Don't you mean over the hedge? Dabba, dabba. In fact, what was it that I said earlier? <laughs> Not because it's a bad game or anything. Well, no, I take that back. This game sucks. The only thing it has going for it is beating up mammals, and often the game doesn't even require you to do that. Unless the objective tells you to, you can ignore everything everywhere and run by to the end of the stage, only to be greeted with... We're all meeting at the end of the street. See you there. The greatest lip syncing I think I've ever seen, so I'm going to throw over the hedge, over the hedge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what have I got to look the at? The poor next? neighbors. <laughs> I'm out of here. why they got all these trash the games in their take yards. Me as far away as possible from over the hedge on the DS. I'm afraid I can't do that. Why not? Your destination is behind you. <laughs> this is Hammy <laughs> Goes Nuts, an exclusive for the Nintendo DS. Featuring Hammy. It's the best game! Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the burbs, he saw you. <laughs> And if that wasn't enough to turn you away, then maybe the most horrifying intro cutscene I've ever seen will. What's with this hairy meatloaf slowly and creepily nibbling away at this tree? I feel <laughs> God, like I'm about to, to be, be jump that scared. neighbor. To be that neighbor. There are three save games already on this cartridge, and not a single one bothered to play the game past 0%, so now I'm very excited. Oh, and the music on these menus has really kicked up a gear. I'm starting to get hyped now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want Get to it. know how Hammy did indeed go <laughs> nuts? Well, I'll tell you. By controlling everyone else other than Hammy and doing exactly the same stuff as the Xbox version of the game, but without any fighting, running three times slower, while tapping on random objects with a touch screen to make the animals vibrate, and while this man looks like a sheep. This game is just well, insipid. Then. There's nothing to it. You drag yourself agonizingly slowly around the area like you're pulling there a you lawnmower go. backwards. Oh you my tap God. an item to pick it up, wait for the game how, to show how much you exactly uh, where you need to... We're about 23 minutes in. So, <laughs> put the item a little bit, and that's it. This is a puzzle game where the puzzle is already solved. And if the game doesn't show you where to go, it's okay because that means the item belongs less than a foot away from where it was supposed to be already. Hammy goes nuts for the DS is just like my pencil. There's no point. Why is he even called <laughs> Hammy Goes sake, Nuts? It's got nothing Kenny. to do with Hammy on his own or his nuts. Did they just use Hammy's name and face to sell copies? Was he the most marketable character? Do kids really like this face or the inside flesh of a squirrel's cheeks? I mean, fair enough, you control him to start with, but the story and objectives have nothing to do with him. The other characters control exactly the same way he does. And by the way, the game is about us working together to steal food because we don't have any. And yet none of the animals will bother to lift a finger until I give them snacks. We don't have any snacks. That's why we're here, you cretin! Hey, does anybody remember Turbo? The DreamWorks animated classic? Turbo? Well, they made a game about it. What's funny about this is that I, don't know how to... I, I haven't really seen most of these. So it just, it makes it more funny. A transition to it. Hi, I'm Barry Barry, and if you've been in an accident that wasn't your fault, we Oh my god! Oh, look! It's Turbo. The the snail. Turbo. Super Star Squad, baby. <laughs> I need a parent. I honestly don't care what any of this stuff does. It makes sense that this is a racing game, so Someone let's just go find straight into an a adult tournament. Quick! Jesus, where is my parent? Right, so who do I pick here? Burn, Turbo, Whiplash, or Smooth Move? I just don't know. Are they... 
Are they breeds? This guy's the one, no question about it. Now for a more important question. Do I want bad stats or bad stats with one stat that isn't as bad as the other stats? Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. I'm on the start line, I'm ready to go, and... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I've played some bad <laughs> kart racing games in my wow. time, but I honestly think this one may be the worst I've ever touched. Do I even need to explain why? Look I'm at not this even... splat. I'd prefer making well, looking an icicle at it, we'll out of my own you piss and shoving it in my eye. One of the most important things you need to nail in any kart racer before anything is how it feels to drive. You can't be too realistic like it's a driving simulator, but not so wacky that it's uncontrollable. So turbo does the next best thing and just takes physics out of the equation completely you hold accelerate oh, to go is that all you have to do? one speed and then turn to the direction you want in order to change where your forward is going towards that that is really it it is so rigid there's no slipping or sliding no weight i feel like i'm racing with a washing pole the back of the box doesn't <laughs> lie either instead of selling the game to you it just tells you two things that the game has you can race and you can pick a character. Yep, that's that is all you can do. To be wow. fair, yeah, that is the only two things the game has going for it. But if the back of the box doesn't give a shit, then why should I? Oh, by the way, favorite characters. Oh yes, from the animated classic that everyone remembers so fondly. My favorite characters were Roly Poly and Eyes on a Dick. Supermarket trolleys <laughs> move with more grace than these things, and I'm not even sure if I'm doing something wrong or if the game is just awful. Maybe it was me. I I don't know. Let's try another race. I'll pick Turbo this time, and I'll take my grip down all the way maybe that's why in the last race i was as stiff as my nan's arthritis let's see then okay so we're coming up to a ramp and no i can do this it's a kid's game about racing snails i've got this that all you got god no caddy no I'm done. This game is making yep. me way too salty. I, yeah, we all saw that Which one coming. Which is a good thing, because I can use that salt to cover the snails in it and kill them all! But Jesus, <laughs> where do I go from here? Have I hit the bottom of the barrel? Is Can he go and fall the monitor? How do I rinse the taste of a bad cart racer out of my mouth? Why don't you try out another racing game? Huh, you know what? That is not actually a bad idea. Your family hates you. No matter how bad another <laughs> racing game is, it will look like a masterpiece compared to Turbo being immediately before it. I am going to cut you. Thank you so wow. much, Tiddy the well, Eddie, okay. What would I do without you? Why I feel you like give me life. I'm in never-ending pain. Please end it. So here we I go. I feel like Ant's extreme they're having two different conversations. Don't ask me how he got into extreme racing. I think it might have been the crack. Okay, so this is the best idea for a race I've ever heard. You take a movie not necessarily made for kids, all about communism, propaganda, individuality, I remember this the politics movie. of war, and exploitation of the working class for the benefit of the self-proclaimed strongest. And then turn it into a car racer for toddlers. You know ants? No, not the movie, the insect. Don't kids love ants? They're gonna go crazy for this game. Get the ants off of the picnic and put them in a race car. And for the cherry on the cake, the game was even published by Explosive Diary. Now, you may think that three pounds <laughs> isn't that much for a PS2 racing game based on the movie Ants, but this is actually the most I paid for any of the games in this video so far, so my expectations are through the roof. Just gonna open up the case well. and... Oh, well. That's just lovely. Whoever owned this before me really likes ants. And it's also <laughs> reassuring to know that we're playing a oh, classic geez. from Lisp Games. Lisp, because our standards drive for excellence. Okay, I know I jest, but you know what? Can I actually you? think this is the best game we have so far. I'm stunned. Or should I say... Stung. As ridiculous as the idea of a kart racer based on the Ants movie is, which is the same thing as making the Prince of Egypt a first-person shooter, I'm shocked at how good this game is for a kart racer that was universally hated Kill when it me. came out. I mean, Kill sure, me, everything okay. else around the gameplay sucks a little bit, like the bland menus, barely any voice acting, and terrible soundtrack that doesn't fit with anything going on on the screen. <laughs> this gets me in the mood for Woody Allen. But the rest of it, oh I really God, think, is well no. done. You've got multiple vehicle types for races, allowing you to drive, climb, board, run, or fly. Great controls for all of those types that all feel different from each other. You get really great tracks with creative obstacles and plenty of shortcuts. You get kick-ass power-ups like the oh-so-satisfying boost. You get some really damn good graphics for a 2002 PS2 game. I mean, look at these character models. And if you get hit, the responsive and zippy control style even allows you to correct the spin out. This is a good game we have here. What's up with you, Metacritic? 
you got ants in your pants? Check out the level of detail, even. All the cars are being powered by slave insects, which is very sad, actually, but also so <laughs> cool. And all the wheels are made from shirt buttons and razor heads. There's a gag at the end of every race, too, showing you what position you came against every other ant in your colony. Basically, if you can get your head around how stupid the idea of a Sylvester Stallone and Christopher oh. Walken kart racing game is, I really think you might like this one. A three-lap driving race in the rain. Careful now. I can't really make any jokes about this one. It's a solid racing game, so I guess I'll save my progress and come back to it some other time. And my name is... Funty. Up next, we have Kung Fu Panda on the Xbox 360, jumping back up a generation. But before we get into it, I just wanted to quickly show you a free-to-play 3D online turn-based multiplayer battle game that came out at the same time as the movie. It was called Pose Kung Fu Challenge, and it looks like that feeling you get when you step on Lego. And now the 360 version. Luxo Flux. Yeah, that's right. What? <laughs> What's right? Welcome one and all to the world of Kung Fu Panda, a magical world full of ugly screen tearing, screaming pandas, and geese that spin around on invisible record players. Then they break their necks. This game is essentially a hack and slash platformer with light and heavy attacks oh, yeah, the that you father can mix Ted together reference. into combos, special moves that require energy to use, weapons that do immense damage but break very quickly, a guard and a roll. So imagine if Bayonetta was made for five-year-olds instead of people with the horn. Now aside from the terrible first impression and the jank present in some of the graphics, knock me down and call me fanny. This isn't actually all well, that then. bad. I mean, it's simple. It is a kid's game after all, but I can think of worse ways to ease a kid into the world of Devil May Cry. There's even upgrades you can purchase <laughs> in between the stages with the coins that you find. And after one level, I decided it's to invest baby everything for into Devil a fully powered Cry. belly flop. Wanna know why? This snaps the game like a twig. I'm murdering every small enemy in one single flop. But come is, on, it is incredibly satisfying. Even if you don't want to do- This would be the game you would have your little sibling or something to distract them with while you play Devil May Cry. You, you tell them this is training for Devil May Cry. That's how you, that's how you get them away from you while you play. <laughs> do that, you can always roll into a ball and bowl everyone over. This is pretty sick stuff, lads. Do you think that a giant wooden hand endlessly thrusting against a wall would be covered in your rent? Bo! Bo, you were great! <laughs> Gee, well, thanks so much, <laughs> <laughs> Overall, Kung Fu Panda, I'm pleasantly surprised. You're okay. You're nothing more than okay, but you are right, okay. right, right. Just like I said it's to either Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. I'm shocked you're not right, a total right. failure. Do you want Options. to know how to Options. train your dragon? Well, if you do, there's a video game that will teach Which you. Which one do you thirst for more is Twice. the question. So why am I playing How to Train Your Dragon 2 and not the first one? Believe it or not, it's because I couldn't actually find the original on any secondhand stores online in time for this video. Maybe it's a rare game or something, I don't know. But what I do know is that the first game's box art makes it look like Toothless is flying through an anus, so I'm glad I'm not playing it. You've got to love the <laughs> box art for the sequel, though. Oh, dude, what should we do for the cover of the second game? Oh, I know! Make Toothless fly in the other direction. And that's it. So what's going on in this game? Wow. Well, little bit. Oh, little orbit. Thank Christ. So after a little tutorial with perhaps the most annoying guide I've ever heard. Yeah, now tail steer. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow, well, Caddy, I didn't know you were and the voice actor. Fly through rings. Oh dear. But the question is, no, who do I not pick? The, the dragon with a low not the annoying Superman ringing noise? 64. Or the dragon with a high annoying ringing noise? <laughs> After the tutorial, you're then left to your own devices to explore the giant island of Berg. That's actually what it's called. And you know what? This feels great to play. The graphics aren't exactly handsome, but the performance rarely drops, and the flying controls make you feel like you are darting around on the back of a real dragon. Because I know what that's supposed to feel like. But once you start following objective markers and getting into the actual game, it unfortunately sucks its thumb and dumps. Out of the entire 45 minutes I played, I had one game of breaking targets and one game of grabbing sheep to put them in different sheep houses, but the rest of them was nothing but flying through rings. Lapped races while flying through wow. rings, time trials while flying through through rings, sheep stealing while flying through rings. I can see why this game was made by a company called Little Orbit, because when something orbits, it flies around in a ring. <laughs> I am fine with a few ring courses, especially for a flying game like this, but nearly every single match of anything I played here was just 
flying through rings. I know the back of the box says that it's mainly a racing game, so maybe I was expecting too much, but if this was a racing game first and foremost, they could have at least staved off the repetition by giving me different courses to fly across, not flying through rings on the same island over and over again. Superman, the dragons who love to throw you off your the PTSD dragon, yes, from Superman 64 funny, so is still for ongoing. Me laugh at the floppy teenager falling down a cliff. <laughs> Aside from getting bored, though, do you want to know why I eventually had to stop playing? The voice of your main character. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mayday. Oh, yeah. Mayday. Hey, yeah. Oh. Mayday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mayday. And then to Rawr. top it off, most of the races sound like this. How to Train Your Dragon 2. Coming to theaters on World Death Day. <laughs> Donkey! Wow. Oh, look, it's Shrek from DreamWorks Animation's hit comedy family film franchise called Shrek. What do you want? Ogres have legs. Yeah, same you me. I, sat down the time trial and, on and the going I was through take rings. I would Shrek game on the Game Boy Advance. I would just shut down my entire console and call it my mind. And so we move on to the GameCube again with Shrek 2, another game I spent hours on as a kid playing co op with my sister on the original. Xbox. This is about as standard as you'd expect for a game about a green woman with a dress that you can look up. It follows the movie more oh or less exactly my. the Blinken storybook segments and gives you a lot of varied levels where you switch this between is the one up you to have. four characters at once we gotta with play it. abilities oh, no. and special moves in order to work together, solve basic puzzles, collect items, fight enemies and knock off objectives. Is that one of our future co-op games? Like mugging Robin Hood in the forest. <laughs> Great, that's all done then. So what does this item do? This potion makes your team invulnerable for a limited time. Oh, great. Would have been nice if I had that. Oilier. Also, these cutscenes. <laughs> Ogres eat nature, not parfait. Aren't very good. There once was a motley crew who asked if I would let them through. I'll open the gate for you and your mates if you will bring me... A Jew? Fairies. Oh. What? Caddy? <laughs> Well, I suppose they are both pretty magical. Oh, and wow, Caddy! The the trick too? It's as dumb as bricks. Oh god, I didn't say that out loud, did I? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I'm heading off to the top left here, the way I'm supposed to go, and then all three of the other characters just bugger off and leave me to go the direction that we already came from. Where are you going? Me, One the thing curse I do of the kind of like though happens at the end of each stage, where everyone gets their chance to finish off with a short closing mini game known as Hero Time. <laughs> Every playable character gets a go at least once in the game, and they're a pretty good way to end Kenny. things off. And that's, of course, it's the most water. annoying thing in the world. <laughs> what the fuck is it with this audio? I am not a fan of the mini games involving Shrek having to pick up and throw things, though. They reuse this game way more than they have any right to, and they are so slow. In fact, the whole game in general is yeah, pretty Yomi, slow. I don't know what, what is it with when the ad took you, but I, so I entered. I said, so "Does is Shrek 2 one stops. of our I'm future co-op games?" Of speed. You move as fast as crawling maggots, and it makes the simplest and most elementary of jumps feel almost impossible sometimes. To conclude, though, I mean, Shrek 2 it's still all right as a movie tie-in game. I mean, you throw chickens into a pot to boil them alive and pop the eyeballs out of slugs to eat them. I can't hate a game that does that. Look, it even has that bit in the movie. I mean, I guess that could be a thing. The cute eyes. Co co ops, we uh, enjoy, and co ops, then? we're like, what the fuck are we Shrek playing? Super pop, another Shrek game? Nope, nope. I'm gone. I'm done. <laughs> I'm living in here now. Yeah, yeah. TDK, TDK, TDK stands for Tickle David's Knickers. I mean, the game well, doesn't no. look too bad no. so far. There's nice FNV at least. And oh, 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 God! Who, who signed off on these and why? Everyone princess. has the the big head the cheat on. Beholder, but that doesn't apply if your head is the size of Saturn. Shrek just wants to be left alone. And the best way to do that is by getting together in a big gang in order to play multiple fecal mini games to win bugs and then trade them with opponents in order to match high numbered bugs together and then do nothing with all of the bugs. Did that work? Do you feel alone yet? Please put your hands together for Shrek. Now what? Shrek Super Party, if you couldn't tell, is Mario Party, but with a very important twist that makes it stand out. It's bad. <laughs> you move around the board, activate mini games and battles, yeah, and make I do events have happen to, by landing I have on to wonder spaces. If, like, someone on the dev team high up thought it would be a great idea for the big heads because they really enjoyed the big head cheat. Like, they thought it was the greatest thing. I wonder. I wonder. Look out, Shrek!
Oh no, I'm a bell and The only issue with all of this though is, okay, that's a lie, there's thousands of issues, but one of the many is that you get a choice to pick a totally different board from everyone else, for starters. So that feeling of competition as you pass each other and interact on the same board is non-existent. Like Pinocchio's soul. It's time for an epic battle. Oh man, I'm so excited! <laughs> he rolls a nine, but then only moves like one space and then has to give all his bugs away. Lord Farquaad is eating his own face. <laughs> There's absolutely no surprise elements because every space and what's on them is shown to you before you make the roll. The dragon looks like it was made from cardboard boxes. There's no sabotages you can perform or different directions you can travel for strategy when landing on certain places. Donkey's jaw is dislocated and the entire game ends after an hour of stupid board and with nothing but epoxy six second cutscene. Shrek, you may have Mario's weight, but you'll never have his spirit or his tash, so give it up. Oh, golly wow. gee, drink my wee. I got a high score. What's my name? Elm. Uh oh, Shrek, off to the evil bog. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 D. Oh, D. <laughs> Oh no. So, what do you do when you have too many characters to work with? You stick them all in a car racer. What else? Look, you get to play as all of your favorite characters like Marty, Alex, Shrek, Donkey, and. <laughs> and you had better make sure to spell cards with a Z because the youth love bad grammar. They're crazy for it, so make sure you do well, that. You don't want them to, to come over fair. to your house, spit on your shoes, and call you a wiener. So I'm picking the only circuit race that's available to me. All good there. And which character should I be? Hiccup, Skipper, Donkey, Bob. Alex or Shrek who can barely fit in his own cart with his knees knobbling out and doesn't even look like he wants to be here. Do you want to know what playing DreamWorks Superstar Kart You debated getting this one, you like? mean? Oh my Very God. simple. It's Mario Kart, but not fun. The drifting feels terrible, like you're spreading butter on a lumpy bit of bread. And the turning feels as restrictive as anything. I mean, I can forgive a lot of unoriginality in a kart racer, but if the core of the game, the driving, doesn't even feel vaguely fun, what's the point in playing it? Am I driving go-karts or cutting paper? with blunt scissors. This is horrible. Oh, and by the way, I just unlocked Toothless. <laughs> look at the state of this. Just look at the state of this. Why was this put here? Who greenlit this idea? Why does Toothless look like a long black sausage? And why does he what sound like that, that time you heard uh? your neighbors going at it through the wall? <laughs> So, okay. This yeah. This is 150 CC. What, this is the what fastest the, fuck is that noise? the DreamWorks Superstar card will let you go. I thought 150 CC stood for your engine power, not 150 crappy crabs. Ever wanted to play as a giraffe that flies around like a helicopter? <laughs> well, if you do, maybe Madagascar on the GameCube is the game for you. God damn it, I've seen this stupid kid on this stupid moon so many times now that I want to fall off. Welcome to Madagascar, the movie, the game. A beautiful world where children wear hats bigger than their own bodies, living dinosaurs eat policemen, <laughs> and poo in the toilet is green. My God, what did they eat? This game was developed by Toys for Bob. And yes, boys and girls, the same team responsible for the brilliant Spyro Reignited trilogy no, also no. made Madagascar on the GameCube, and they had a theme song that sounded like a load of puking clowns running after you. <laughs> Just like Shrek 2, Madagascar takes us through a revised retelling of the plot of the movie, and the first stage sees us playing as Marty the Zebra, exploring the New York City Zoo while collecting coins and power cards, the things that you need to unlock new abilities and progress through the game. The thing is though, you don't actually unlock anything. You get it for the single level you're on and every level after that, but with no other yeah, level the, whatsoever. The cloud which murders the replayability. It fit very well. If you play any stage of Madagascar, you are playing the exact same stage in the exact same way. Even if you finish the game and go back to level one to grab something you might have missed, you lose every ability and need to unlock them within the same stage and get the stupid cards all over again. Even better, the way you collect these things is insultingly easy. They're basically always in a line next to each other. So why bother with this system at all? Why don't just give me a new power up for every stage? Hmm. Maybe Alex the Lion will cheer me up a little bit. Ah, look at that. We collect more cards, unlock a double jump, then jump through some hoops. Oh, sorry, I mean jump thrust some hoops, and then roar at the top of the podium. Don't let those flying rats tell you. Or have a stroke. Come on, something <laughs> good had better happen soon. Oh, damn, you can kick the kids. You can pummel the children. Yeah, screw those bratty pricks at the zoo. So Finally, right for the game is safe. In it. No, no, that didn't sound. Off we go to Gloria the Hippo, and she's talking to some ostriches that want to race her. Well, you know what I think about that? <laughs> 
please give us a pound or we'll have to pull the trigger. We start the race uh, off and oh, oh, oh. Wow. Well. Someone, somewhere is really happy right now. Oh man, is Swing that, that booty is around, that a I'm going to go and pop it. Almost enough. Almost enough until what? Oh God, if I pop another one, does that mean he'll sound like that for the rest of the stage? That was enough balloons. Let the hilarity ensue right on schedule. Jesus, end me. <laughs> Madagascar <laughs> is as basic as a platforming collectathon adventure game as you get. It's a mid 2000s movie tie in game for the PS2 era. There is nothing special about it. You control one character at a time, they all have different abilities and control styles, and that is all she wrote. I'll be repeating myself if I go into any more depth. I'd say though it has more effort put into it over something like Over the Hedge though. I mean, it looks decent, there's loads of mini games you can purchase with the coins that you find in the levels, there's cosmetics to earn, there's even hidden arcade machines in the city for more games to play. There's definitely effort here for a game that nobody would have expected anything out of, so kudos to you Toys for Bob. Oh my god, that was the best car crash death I've ever seen. <laughs> Away. The entire game is purely passable, nothing else. And even though it's fine, it leaves no impact on anything. Unlike Gloria when she sits down. Looks like you're going to Damn. have to find a key to open this door. Thanks for letting me know, James Corden. Everything that we've seen so far today, though, child's play. Piss in the wind. Nothing that we have seen today compares even slightly to the unending horrors of Shrek 1 for the Xbox. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? The game doesn't work? Oh, that's a shame. Well, to be honest, I don't think I really ever wanted to play a game that put extra detail into the pores no. of Shrek's Wait Tire a minute now. So maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, what come on. They remade it for the GameCube. What? Everything about this box art makes me want to vomit. I don't like this man's face. I don't like the eggs with mouths. I don't like Shrek's single pointy tooth. And I especially don't like the close up on the back. Did anybody really need to be so close to Shrek that they could see his greasy sausage fingerprints? Even the title is revolting. Shrek extra large? Shrek's extra large what? Oh, wow. Oh, just, just, just wow. What a lovely menu. Aren't you glad they <laughs> remade the original Xbox exclusive for the GameCube so that more console owners could see what they were missing? out on I guess all we can do here is hit start then <laughs> hey Siri <laughs> cut the cord what's my name uh, <laughs> oh I am so happy with my career choices right now and those burps being used as selection noises best part of the game boy you think I'm joking fine here it is take a look for yourself Yes, this silent void of unhappiness with 1996 PC textures, no sound at all, and a frame rate as smooth as sandpaper is Shrek Extra Large on the GameCube. The, with the Game golden Cube. Nintendo seal of quality. I want to let Wait, each move Shrek. This this looks like it would be more appropriate on the original Xbox like it was supposed to it originally came out on. Did they not do anything for the GameCube version? Or <laughs> was it somehow worse on the original Xbox? Has in this game shine by itself because god damn it nothing else is shining right now the analog stick lets you run and shrek runs around as gracefully as an angry honey badger the b button makes you kick and someone decided that the sound effect for the kick should play over and over again even if you aren't kicking anything <laughs> the r trigger lets you do this and that speaks for itself but the best button the game what has the to work with is the Z button, because pressing that makes the camera go... <laughs> <laughs> what eldritch horror have I been blessed with here? He looks like a toddler who stole a camera phone and a knife. This is completely demented. 10 this, out of 10, IGN. This is what she sees. <laughs> I swear this is the best bit of the game by far. Zooming in the camera and locking it in place makes this already hideous game look like a Picasso painting if he sniffed glue before painting it. Hello? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just lock that camera in and press anything. I guarantee it will give you more fun than anything else this game has to offer you. No, I'm not playing this game any further than level one. Why should I? If a video game greets me with earwax, burping selection noises, and then follows up with Shrek's inside out butthole, I'm not going to humor it. Uh, and the best thing wow. is that this isn't well. even the last game we're taking a look at today. The next one is. It's on the Xbox 360. And it requires a very special 
peripheral. Oh no. Oh no. What fucking now? It's a connect. The penguins of Madagascar in yeah. Dr. Blowhole Kinda returns figured. Here we go. <laughs> again. With his blowhole. This here, my lumpies <laughs> and germs, is the first Connect game I've ever played. Which was not only the best introduction wow. I think I could have ever wished for, but yeah. also means I'm now opening myself up to every other flawless Connect adventure at some point in the near future. Pray for me. Okay, well as far as first impressions go, this thing isn't too bad. It looks kind of cool at least, it works fine on the main dashboard for the Xbox 360, and check this out, I'm a video game now. But then I played <laughs> this game, and the fun stopped. Here is what happened. Please enjoy. Hello yeah, this everybody, is, I am popping this is my really, cherry. I don't this know is what a to... really weird game to be interested, to be, not, <laughs> to be introduced to, like, the Connect. I just, this is, I, say whatever you want about the Connect. It had some good video games to go with it. Not a lot. But, this would be a weird way to be introduced to it. I don't know what's gonna happen. The camera is freaking me out a little bit. Now, why don't you tell me your name? <laughs> oh, okay, we're leaning. We're leaning. <laughs> we're leaning for the ice cream. Okay, right, let's go. Leaning. I jumped. It, it did a jump. I'm amazed. There's a chameleon right here. If there's a chameleon right there, it's not a very good chameleon, is it? This is insipid. This is so boring. I can see why this is a kid's game, because if anybody over the age of 30 tries to do this, they will end up on the floor with major back pain. Now what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect, bitch. I lifted my hands up. Can't see you doing that. Oh, he's doing a flap. Flappy flap. Whoa, okay, we're changing characters and now now we're lot we've completely lost tracking. It now thinks I'm leaning left and I'm not. Oh no, why? Why is that an oh no? Do you want me to bend over backwards and stick my head through my legs? I can do that if you want me to, game. Why why did I get it wrong the last time? I thought that said terrible for a second and I would have agreed with it. Okay. <laughs> Go to the pigeon, throw. Go to the pigeon, throw. Go to the pigeon. We're playing a Kinect game for children, and I'm now being asked trivia questions about wildlife. This is exactly what I wanted. Not only did I want to stand up from the sofa and not hold a controller, but I wanted to go to school. Furry monster? I don't know. Little man? Oh, come on, I can't get this completely wrong. Cute? Because they are cute. You're incorrect. I think even more importantly, why does, a, why does a quiz require bodily movement? Why do I need to use my feet? Like, God damn it, I'm already losing my bearings on where I am anyway. <laughs> That's that that picture. I do find that sums up everything. I That's, do find it funny. A lot of the Connect games would just randomly take photos of you and show them to you. Like it would sometimes it wouldn't even be part of like the actual game. It would just be sometimes just random. Like, hey, we took this picture of you. Look at it, and you better laugh, because you know it's not it's not going to be flattering. Sums up my feelings. It sums up this game. It sums up the connect. That is as raw and as natural as a reaction as you're going to get. Because <laughs> I didn't know they were taking a picture. Yeah, I think we can pretty much end it there, don't you think? Subscribe and hit that bell. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter. And make sure... <laughs> Special thank you to my executive producers <gasps> on my Patreon page in the description below. Matthew Hubble, Exopass, TARDIS Type 40, Slowpog, Ramen Wolf 1485, Red Eye Critic, Steven LeBlanc, Dave Marshall, Fart Rules, Ingval Pettersson, Daniel and Alex, The Game Shed, Skullman, Mitchell Reed, Basil, Calvin Koskella, Shadow Hunter ZX and AD The puppy Haunted has Smith. a look on a face he's gonna ask me, isn't he? This dog is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Cute puppy. Cute puppy. God, what a what a wild ride. 90% of that was Shrek content of some kind, but what a wild ride. Another good caddy video. Another video of Caddy losing
his fucking mind playing games. Oh, we appreciate it, Caddy. We appreciate it. 